Parts of New Mexico not only saw a drop in temperatures, but some areas saw their first snowfall this morning. Many of our ski resorts across the state have seen some fresh powder for the season. We do have footage taken earlier this morning in Angel Fire, snow and ice affecting roadways in northern parts of the state. U.S. Highway 64 by Clayton is closed due to inclement weather and severe driving conditions are in effect on 64, 14 miles west of Eagle Nest. And NMDOT now reporting that I-25 northbound also closed to the Colorado state line. That is due to winter driving conditions. With all of this going on, let's check in with meteorologist Liz Fellinger with our first look at the forecast. Liz. Today we are seeing the final impacts of this low pressure system that is over New Mexico right now, and we can see a rather defined circulation. We see that band of rain sweeping up through Texas and the snowfall that is hitting not only the northern parts of the state, but right here in the metro. If you live close to the Sandias like I do, I even saw some snow on my car earlier this morning. Now, the good news for the metro is that it's just not quite cold enough for that snow to stick. But as we move further to the north, specifically the northeast, which is where this storm system will be traveling later this afternoon, it was cold enough this morning for that snow to accumulate, and it's going to stay relatively cold enough for that snow to continue to accumulate. Right now, current temperature in Albuquerque is 38 degrees compared to 32 degrees in Clayton, which is freezing point. Now, as we zoom out to look at the rest of the United States, we can see a rather defined line of cold air where that storm system is pushing. More information on this will be coming up in my full forecast.